Yo, what's up? Sniper Baller One here. Um, I'm very pissed off at TNA Sacrifice. Call me biased. I don't care. Um, I just thought that was that was just total crap. I mean, <laughs> that's just that's just how. I mean, the only thing I liked the, the entire show was the Terra Dome. I didn't even finish watching the show. I I didn't see the main event. I'll probably watch it later. But you know, oh well. I I I just started watching Dragon Gate Challenge too, which I will review that soon. You're gonna get from me. I'm gonna tell y'all what y'all about to get. Y'all about to get three straight days of always DVD reviews, pretty much. So yeah. Today got the sixth anniversary show. Um, tomorrow Dragon Gate Challenge two, and uh, Super Card of Honor three. After that, Super Card of I'm gonna go ahead and say this now. Super Card of Honor three is legit. Two match of the year candidates, in my opinion, the top two matches of the year are on that fucking DVD. It, I, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. All right, but let me get started with the review. Um, this was a good show, not great. I expected a lot more from it. In all honesty, um, the show started with the Lyrics and Human Tornado. This wasn't really much of a match because it got broken up by the Age of the Fall, so we didn't really get much from this. And uh, But we did get the Age of the Fall versus the Lyrics and Human Tornado, and that was a lot of fun. A lot of just nice, nice spots. A lot of ways, great way to start the show, in all honesty. I mean, I love the Age of the Fall. I love the way Jimmy Jacobs and Tyler Black work together. It was a good way to start the show. Then we got uh, El Generico versus Brent Albright. This wasn't that good, but it wasn't bad either. Uh, you know, it was just, it was just all right. You know, it just wasn't that special. Two and a half stars. <clears throat> all right, uh, then we got the controversial. Well, hold on, hold on. What was it? What was it before that? Did we get the Niger promo? The Niger promo was somewhere along your head. That was good. Basically, uh, him uh, being basically upset with the fans, and he threw the belt down, and then Brian Davidson comes out, don't you fucking dare do that, and then yada yada yada, and he was like, you know, I worked hard for that belt. Guys like Samoa Joe, CM Punk, it was very good, very intense. Really made you feel like the match tonight was a big match, and uh. Brian Davidson also told Nigel he wouldn't attack his head like he usually does with the elbows and the stomps. I mean, you know, it made you feel like the match that you were about to see was going to be something incredible. All right, um, let me just talk about the Larry Swinney show that everybody's up in arms with. The, uh, the shit with Alice in Danger, it wasn't that serious. I mean, I know it was edited, you know, so we didn't get to see everything that happened, but I mean... It wasn't that serious, you know what I mean? It just wasn't. I, I thought it was funny, in all honesty. No, I took it as a joke. All right, uh, but anyway, Kevin Steen and Joey Matthews, this was all right. A lot of people said this match was a snooze fest, and it was boring, and all this, that, and the other. It really wasn't that bad. It, it was decent. You know, it wasn't wasn't terrible. It was decent. You know, I, I enjoyed it a little bit. I thought uh, Kevin Steen was going to hit the package pile driver from the second rope, and that would have been sick. I've seen him do that one time before, and, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's sick. <laughs> All right, then we had, in my opinion, the match of the night, Austin Aries and Go Shizaki. This match was incredible. Awesome spots at the end. Uh, just, just th these two really worked well together. The last 10 minutes of this match, I was, I was, I said the last 10 minutes of this match, I was Dave Prezak and Lenny Leonard would just shut up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how, like, sometimes, you know, stuff will go on and then they'll just shut up and let the action just do the talking? That's what they should have did the last 10 minutes of this match. Incredible. Incredible. That's all I got to say. Everybody needs to see this match, pretty much. All right. Four and a half stars. <laughs> all right. Uh, then we got Sarah Del Rey versus Daisy Hayes for the Shimmer title. I mean... You know, that was, that wasn't, you know, two stars. You know, nothing really to talk about. I hate, how, okay, one one grab I have with ROH real quick. I hate how they have Shimmer matches on the show, right? But then the Shimmer matches are, like, really lame. You know what I mean? It's like, what, what was the point of that? You know what I mean? Like, if you want to show people how good Shimmer is, put on matches that people, you know, actually want to see, you know, matches that are, you know, good. You know what I mean? Because Shimmer is a great, you know, company when it comes to women's wrestling. Probably one, probably the best, you know what I mean? So, yeah. All right, then after that, 
We had the tag team title match. We had Rocky Romero and David Richards versus uh, Ruckus and Jigsaw. Um, I'm a mark for Ruckus. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I like Jigsaw when he's not lazy. <laughs> um, the NRC, I'm big on Rocky Romero, and I like David Richards. This was a, just a really good match, y'all. Three and a quarter star. I enjoyed it a lot. Very, very good match. Very, very, very good match. I really enjoyed it. You, everybody should check that out. I mean, it just, it was just, like, you know, it was it was kind of spotty at the end, but, like, it, all this stuff was just, it was just a lot of fun to watch. It was really fun. All right, um, and then after that, we had Ryder Strong versus Eric Stevens versus Necro Butcher for the FIP title in a no DQ match. This match was so brutal and hard-hitting and just all of the above, and... And Roderick Strong botched this Tiger driver at the end. It was like he, well, he was going for like the Gibson driver, and it looked like this like funky Tiger driver ninety one through a table. Necro Butcher looked so oh god, it looked so sick. And then he got in the ring and actually did a Tiger driver ninety one on accident. You know what I mean? But it just made everything look more brutal. I mean, uh, you felt the hatred between Eric Stevens and Roderick Strong. I'm really liking this rivalry. Somebody told me at a future event they're supposed to have a fight without honor, so you know that's gonna be good. Um, four stars, y'all really enjoyed this. Um, some people I saw on the message boards were overrating this, saying it was like four and a half, matching the night and shit. Nah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was, yeah, uh, it was. You know, it was good, but you know, not. You know, it was like that. You know what I mean? Then we had the always world title match, Nigel McGinnis and Brian Danielson. Okay. This is the match with Nigel Turner's Hill, and everybody seems to hate this, okay? I, on the other hand, I actually like Nigel's Hill. I think he's pretty funny on the mic. You know, I, you know, I, I mean, he was a heel his entire pure title reign, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's not that big a deal to me. Um, what was I going to say? This was, in my opinion, the second best match of the night. A lot of people, you know, think this is the best match of the night. It's the four and a half star match, you know what I'm saying? Um, just very, very good stuff in this. Not as good as the Unify or the Driven match, but definitely, definitely a very good match. Everybody should check out also. Um, nice storytelling in this with uh, Dragon not wanting to attack uh, Nigel's head. Good stuff in this, y'all. And Dragon Gate Challenge 2 review is coming tomorrow, and I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.